Waiting for Lincoln on his first day in office was a letter from Major Robert Anderson, the commander of Fort Sumter, located on an island in the harbor of Charleston, South Carolina. Anderson warned that without a shipment of provisions, he would have to surrender to the rebels. Lincoln had three options. He could order a surrender, an attack, or send provisions. He chose the latter. So basically, Lincoln said to Jefferson Davis, if you let this food go in peacefully, it will be uh, a, a symbolic manifestation of our sovereignty over this fort, the United States sovereignty. If you stop it, then the burden of responsibility for starting a war will be on your shoulders. Before Lincoln's supply ships arrived, Confederate President Jefferson Davis ordered his men to attack the fort. The first shot was fired. On April 12, 1861, the Civil War had begun. The violence at Fort Sumter motivated four more states to join the Confederacy. Four others remained on the fence. Fort Sumter was surrendered to the South, but Major Anderson saved the American flag that had flown above it and brought it to New York City. They took that tattered, ripped flag. It was very much like the World Trade Center flag that was displayed all over New York in the fall of 2001. And the flag inspired people. It created flag mania, patriotic fever. In a way, without Sumter, Lincoln might not have stirred up the Union um, to a move that was necessary to fight to restore the Union, to preserve it. Of shrewd calculation, Lincoln had baited the South into striking the first blow of the Civil War. Yet neither he nor Jefferson Davis anticipated what was about to unfold. It would be the first and only American presidency completely defined by war.